One of the most difficult computer graphics challenges is to be able to create realistic human faces. In particular, skin appearance in the face changes under varying illumination. We have built a face scanning system that is able to measure variations in skin reflectance. It consists of a geodesic dome with 150 LED lights, 16 cameras, and a commercial 3D face scanning system. First, we capture the 3D face geometry. Then the system sequentially turns each light on while simultaneously capturing images with all 16 cameras. Here is an example of the 3D geometry that we were able to capture. We also built a custom device to measure subsurface scattering with a linear array of optical fiber detectors. White light from an LED is coupled to a source fiber. A sensor head holds the source fiber and 28 detection fibers. A digital camera inside a lightproof box records the light collected by the detection fibers. To maintain constant pressure between the skin and the sensor head, we attached a silicone membrane connected to a suction pump. We have measured in vivo light reflections and subsurface scattering of a large and diverse group of people. Our subjects range from 12 to 75 years old and represent a range of gender and race. We developed a new skin reflectance model and fit the measured data to our model. Skin reflectance is due to specular light reflection on the skin surface and diffuse light reflection due to subsurface scattering. This figure shows a cross-section of the main layers of human skin, the oil layer, the epidermis, and the dermis. We model specular reflection off the oil-air interface on the skin surface using a bidirectional reflectance distribution function. Diffuse reflection is mainly due to two components, light absorption by tissue and pigment particles, melanin, and the epidermis, and strong light scattering due to collagen fibers and blood in the dermis. Fine-scale face geometry is represented by a normal map. To validate our model, we compare synthesized images from a Monte Carlo ray tracer to real photographs. There are only small differences due to inherent noise in the acquisition process. The simplicity of our model also allows it to be integrated into interactive rendering applications. Here we show a demo with surface BRDF and diffuse albedo map, but no translucency component. We can interpolate between traits and can also transfer local skin features such as pimples, moles, and freckles using texture analysis and synthesis of albedo maps.